Today we'll look at how you can create a silhouette and affinity photo. You can start off with an image like this and turn it into this. Here I have this image of a dancer on a beach and I want to make a silhouette of her. The first step is to isolate her from the background. So first I'll duplicate the layer. With the layer selected, I'll just press Ctrl J. I'll call the bottom layer background. And I'll call the top layer person. Now let's select the person and mask them out. So I'll choose my selection brush over here and let's select our person. So I'll select the areas up here. If you select too much and need to unselect something, you can hold Alt and click to unselect it. I'll keep selecting this area. I'll select the dress. Now I have my selection. I'll click Mask Layer. Now you don't notice any difference because the background's still enabled. Let me turn that off. Here you can see what my selection actually is. So now with my person layer selected, let's create the silhouette. I'll do that by clicking the Layer Effects button here that says FX, so I'll click that. Now what I can do is select Color Overlay. So I'll click on this and I'll check the box. And you can see we have a silhouette. It's black because black was the initial color selected. You could change it to something else if you like. You could also change the blend mode if you wanted to. This tool has lots of uses, but I'm just gonna keep it normal and I'm gonna make it black again. Now, if you wanted, you could also make this a gradient. You could uncheck color overlay and you could select gradient overlay. So there's all sorts of gradient options here you could do to change that as well. But we just want a basic silhouette. So I'll go back to the color overlay here. So that's the basic way to create a silhouette. Now, unfortunately, when you create a silhouette from an object in an image, usually the final result isn't exactly what you want. Objects in real images rarely have nice, perfect silhouettes. So you're gonna to wanna to touch up your result a bit. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the woman from our background layer. That's gonna give us more flexibility to touch things up. So let me turn off the person layer. I'm here in the background layer. I'm going to add a pixel layer here. Then I'm going to select the inpainting brush tool. So I'll select this. Make sure it's set to current layer and below. And now what I'm going to do is paint out the woman here. So I'll just select over her, make the selection, and I'll let go, and she's gone. So this cleans up our background nicely. Now let's refine our silhouette. So I'll go back to the silhouette layer. Let's turn it on. What we can do is actually refine the mask. So if I go to the mask layer, if I select a brush, let me zoom into my silhouette here. I'm going to choose a solid brush. So if I choose the color white, this will be adding to our mask. So I'll be painting content back in. So that's one example, let me undo that. If I paint in black, that will remove from my silhouette. So let me undo that. So I'm just gonna refine the edges of my silhouette and make them look a little cleaner. I can see this part here is a little bit jagged. Let me make this an easier curve. So I can clean up these parts here. Maybe make these curves a little cleaner. I can fix the hair. Let's fix that part there. Now one area that needs a lot of work is the hand up here. Let's fix the hand. Hands are always tricky. I'll erase part there. Let's clean up the wrist. I think it'd look better just with a simple little curve there. I like that more. Of course the other hand has a problem too. Let's just curve that in like that. I might even just erase this whole finger here. I just don't like the way that looks. I'll bring this thumb out. Fix the foot down here. I think that's a little bit better down there. Now for the dress. Let's get more clearer shapes on the edge of the dress here. Let's get rid of this. I like to have the leg go higher up here. Let's continue that. Let's erase this part here. I think we need some more dress up here. Give a little more symmetry. And here we have our final result. So before, after, before, after. You can see we had to make some decisions. I took out a lot of the dress here, cleaned up some of the edges, just to give it a better silhouette. Now one thing you could do with this is replace the background. So let me put in a different background. I'll select File, Place. I'll choose another image. It's a beach, let's put it in there. Let's put it behind our silhouette. Let's put it over here. Now maybe we want to create a reflection. So I'll duplicate the silhouette with the layer selected. I'll hold Alt and drag. Then I'll flip it upside down. I'll say arrange, flip vertical. Let's resize them so they fit. I'll put the bottom one here. I'll add another mask to it. Let's add a gradient to it and fade it out. So the mask is kind of fading out there. Let's add a ripple filter to it also. 
Let's make it a little wavy there. Just kind of looks like it's in water. I also don't like these birds in the background. They're a little distracting. Let's add another pixel layer above the background. Select the inpainting tool. Current layer and below. Let's hide our person here. On the pixel layer, I'll just get rid of the birds. So I think it looks better that way. And here we have our final result. If there's any topics you'd like to see a tutorial for, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.